Hi friend, Naturalist Cat here. So yesterday it was a really, really rainy, chilly day and I was feeling just really cozy inside. So I didn't make it outside, but I wanted to show you instead some of my nature journaling. Now nature journaling is a great way to look at nature and draw it and really pay attention. I happen to do it a little bit different in that I really love to sketch and draw tree monsters. Do you know what a tree monster is? I do. A tree monster is when you're walking in the forest and you see a tree and it definitely looks like it has a face and you can start to see a monster in there. Now not all monsters are mean. Many of my tree monster friends are very friendly. So I thought I'd take you through my sketchbook as I sketch and get to know my tree monsters. So let's check it out. So friends, meet my very first tree monster that I sketched. So this is Cecilia. So you'll see that I try when their names come to me, I put them in here and I tell myself where I saw them and when. And then I start sketching the tree and the face and they really start to become a tree monster. So this is Cecilia. She's a pretty happy, welcoming monster. She's saying, hello, my friend. You can see her arm right here, waving hello. She is one of my oldest sketches and I just love her so. She'd be very welcoming into the forest. So now let's meet Uggington. And I met Uggington at Blackwater Falls in in 2016 and you can see here that he has funny some really neat eyeballs and a kind of mouth made out of fungus and these cool arms one with leaves a leaf sleeve if you will and one plain arm so that's Uggington he's just like Ugg. so thanks Uggington oh and there's Duckworth and Duckworth was also at Blackwater Falls and you can see his kind of duck bill made out of fungus too. And he's leaning over. I think he wants to give someone a hug if you see that, but all right. So these are bird legs also from Black Waterfall and they were on top of a rock and they definitely just look like there was a giant bird up here and that they were just above us. So they're a voice from above. They're kind of chicken-like, and you can't see the top of them because of all their leaf feathers. Oh, and here's Rizzo. Rizzo was at Irvine Nature Center, and he he likes to chew on his friends, so sometimes his friends get a little bit upset with him. You can see him chewing on a friend right here, and I'm pretty sure that tree monster is saying, Stop it, Rizzo. I'm tired of you chewing on me. All right. Oh! Now this is one of my favorites. This is Happy, and I found her at my grandparents' house in November of 2016, and she is just so happy to see you. Look at her mouth and her eyes, and she's waving to you. I imagine she's just going, hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, kind of like me. All right, let's see who else we have. Oh, this is Murphy, and Murphy was on the Cieno Canal, and I don't know a lot about Murphy. I think he's kind of a serious tree monster. You see, he just kind of doesn't have a smile, doesn't have a frown. He's just kind of serious. Oh, and here comes Jules on July 30th at Cowan's Gap. I also don't know a lot about Jules quite yet, but I think it's a friendly tree monster based on that smile right there. Oh, and here's Mouse. Mouse was found at Jane's Island in 2017, and this was a pine tree near our cabin where we were staying. And you can see the mousy nose and the mousy eye. Oh, and this is Cherry. Cherry I found while I was geocaching with some other friends, and that was found in 2016. And Cherry's made up of some... Um, flowers is makes up her face. I think she's a friendly one too. And here's Harold. Harold was found at Black Hill in 2018. And I think Harold is one that laughs a lot. Look at showing all those teeth in the mouth. 
Oh, Harold, I bet you are a funny tree monster. Here's Chicken Little, also found at Black Hill. You can see it's Chicken Little because of the, all the feathers. Well, they're tree branches, but they look like feathers on top of the head. And the beak right here, and the eyeball. All right, here's Francis. And Francis seems to be singing, I think. So I think that Francis is a singer. I'll have to kind of wait till we meet her more. And next up, oh, so this one is one of my favorite tree monsters. And this is on the Cabin Branch Trail at Black Hill. And I haven't discovered this tree monster's name yet, but he's a very, very serious monster. He might be one of my meaner ones, but he's just so cool. So I don't want to say it's mean until I really get to know it. And I haven't discovered his name yet. Oh, here's Gertrude. She was found at Gatlin State Park in 2018. I think she's in the, the chicken family of tree monsters based on her beak right there. And there's her eyeball. Oh, and here's Lydia. She was at Turkey Run in George Washington Memorial Parkway. And I found her last April, so soon. We're coming up on a year anniversary. So she's waving too. See, she's like, hi. I like her fancy, fancy little vine hat that she was wearing. So this one doesn't have a name yet, so maybe you can help me name it. But I found it last March at Black Hill. Here's Charlie. Charlie was found last January. And I think Charlie might be a little bit of a sad monster, a tree monster, based on the face there. And this is a brand new tree monster. So I thought I'd show you how I go about making, sketching my tree monsters. I'm not a very, um, I don't make a lot of drawings. I don't want to say I'm not a good drawler because I like to draw. And so... I just do some sketching and then I use some watercolor pencils right here. So these are pencils, watercolors. I pencil them in and then I use some water and some paint brushes to make them look kind of like paint. So let me pull up my computer and I'll show you the picture that this tree monster came from. So friends, here's my album, my photo album of tree monsters while I take pictures. So there's, oh, you can see bird legs. There's the original bird legs right there. And I imagine that these look like feet and then up here was all the leaf feathers. Oh, and there's Duckworth. But let's scroll down. Oh, there's, um, I think that's Murphy right there looking very serious on the canal. Oh, and here's our unnamed one right there. Now let's see if I can find our new tree monster that I started yesterday. Oh, there it is. So let's click on that picture and see. So there's our tree monster, our original. And I just took this picture, picture and started sketching it. And so you can see right there's the mouth and the I kind of is a sleepy monster, I think, and the nose right there. So I'm just going to take this and draw some more. And then someday this will be another tree monster that we'll have to name. So friends, those are my tree monsters. I have many more to sketch, but I just thought you might enjoy meeting some of these, especially on a day where I just wanted to look at nature from inside where it was warm and cozy. So I hope that you look outside, even if you don't feel like going outside, and maybe practice drawing some of the nature you see. It could be tree monsters, it could be flower gnomes, it could just be a bug or a leaf, just something. Take a chance and start drawing. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye.